Hi everyone, this is the English starter for Tuesday the 2nd of March 2021 and today for our starter we are learning to write capital letters. Now just like yesterday I am going to go quite quickly through these letters so you might want to pause them in between before you have a go at writing them because as you can see there are five more today so there's quite a few so make sure that you stop it if you need to and have a go but make sure that you're taking your time to write them to get them just right okay make sure you've warmed your fingers up as well you can do any of the exercises I've previously shown you but today we're learning to write capital letters F G H I and J because we've already done A B C D and E so the first one that we're going to do is the letter F now, the letter F is a little bit like a letter E, which we did yesterday. So, you start on the top red line, and you go a straight line down, all the way to the black line. Take your finger off. And then, yesterday, when we did an E, we went across, across, across. But for a capital F, we just go across the top, not too far, and then across the middle like that, not too far again. It's not quite as far as the top one. Let me show you again. So you go down, across, and across again. And that makes your capital F. And when you write it on your paper, so those are the ones from yesterday. So remember, this top red line here is your top line on your page. So you're going to go down to the bottom line, nice straight line, across and across again. Can you see? Oh, it's a little bit blurry. There we go. Let's do another one. So a straight line down, across and across again. Ooh. Now that one went a bit wibbly wobbly, so that's definitely not my best one. So I'm not going to put a dot underneath that. I'm going to have another go. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you learn from them. That's much better. I'm going to put my dot underneath that one. So that's how you write capital F. What comes after F? So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. And G is a curly letter. So... It starts on the top red line and you curl round a bit like a C, like this. And then you go up. You go up a little bit further, up to here, like this. But you don't go all the way to the top, you stop and you take your pen off. And then you do a straight line across. Capital G is a very strange capital letter. And it's quite tricky to do, so you might want to pause and have a really good practice at this, but you curl round, go up, straight line up, take pen off, and then go across, like that. It looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Let me show you what it looks like when you do it on your paper. So you start on this top line, because remember, that's your top red line, is your top line here. Whoops. So you're going to curl round, Go straight up, not all the way to the top, take your pencil off and then go across like that. So curl around and across. Make sure that you don't go like this. Make sure it joins. So you're going to go like that. It's very tricky. You might want to practice that one a few times. So we've done A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What's, what comes next? H. That's right. So I'll show you how to do a H. This is one of my favourite capital letters because it's very satisfying to do this one. So you go straight line down. Take your pen off. Do another straight line down. And then you join the two together like that. And it makes you H. It's quite an easy one. 
After doing that tricky G, H is quite a simple capital letter to write because it's two straight lines that you join together like that. So when you do it on your piece of paper, oh, I forgot to do my dot before, I'm going to do it now. When you do your H, you start on that top line, same as the red one, go all the way down, all the way down again, and then join them together in the middle. Like that. Make sure they're not too wide. You don't want them looking like this. <laughs> that looks silly, doesn't it? It looks a bit like a bed. You don't want that. You want just enough space to do a little line between them. I'm going to choose that one as my favourite. So we've done F, G, H. What comes next? I. And you should definitely know how to do I because this is one of our tricky words in year one. So you should be able to write this one by now. So all you do for I is start on the red line, do a straight line down to the black line and then go across the top and across the bottom. Now I've seen lots of children do this letter like this. So they go down and then they go like that and they take the pen off and then they go like that and they take the pen off and they go like that and then they go like that and it just doesn't look quite right. It's much easier if you just go straight down straight across without taking your pen off and straight across without taking your pen off again. Much easier. So on your piece of paper, you start on the top line, which is the same as your top red line. You go across. Oh, oh, did you spot what I did wrong there? I went across, didn't I? Let me start again. So I'm going to go down across and across much easier there we go i think that one might be my best one and we've got one more today so we've done f g h i what comes next do you know j now some children get g and J muddled up because they've got similar sounding names. This one's G, and I'm going to show you how to do J now. So J starts on the top of the red line, and you do a line across like this. Not too long. You take your pen off, and you find the middle, and you go down, and you curve round like this. That is a capital J. Across down and round so it curls up it's a bit like that um yak's tail on the letter y it curls like this it's quite tricky so again you might want to pause the video so you can have a chance to have a go at this and to practice it to get it right so you go across find the middle down and up across down up so you're curving up this way make sure that you don't curve that way because that one is wrong there's a sad face under it okay so it goes across down and up capital j well done everybody i'll see you again tomorrow for some more